Welcome to Terminology in Healthcare and Public Health Settings, Understanding Medical Words. This is Lecture A, Word Roots. In this first lecture of Understanding Medical Words, we will cover some general concepts regarding medical terminology, but we will primarily focus on word roots and combining vowels. The objectives for this unit understanding medical words are to discuss the four parts of medical terms, recognize word roots and combining forms, identify the most common prefixes and suffixes, describe the anatomical positions, define the body planes, identify regions of the body, define directional and positional terms, Build, divide, spell, and pronounce common medical words. Studying medical terminology is like learning a new language. There are basic rules for building terms that will help you both build and translate many different words that you will encounter throughout your healthcare career in health IT. In order to be successful, you must be able to put words together or build words from their parts. It's much like putting together the pieces of a puzzle. It is impossible to memorize all of the thousands of medical terms. If you are able to figure out the words and their meanings by analyzing their word parts, however, you will be able to understand much of medical terminology. There are four basic word parts that we will discuss. These include word roots, prefixes, suffixes, combining forms. The word root provides the general meaning of the term and is the key part of the term. Prefixes are added to the beginning of the word, while suffixes are added to the ending of the word. Combining vowels allow us to connect different word parts together. Here's an example of how each is used. The first word is cardiology. The word root is cardi, which means heart. So our term cardiology means study of the heart. The second word example is tachycardia. The prefix is tachy which means fast. So this term literally means fast heart. The third word example is carditis. The suffix itis means inflammation. Carditis is inflammation of the heart. The fourth word is cardiomyopathy. We are combining cardi or heart and my or muscle with pathy or disease. We need to use combining vowels in order to connect each of these. We will be using the vowel O. The term cardiomyopathy is disease of the heart muscle. Word roots are the core part of the term. They also provide the general meaning of the word. Word roots usually refer to a body part. Examples include osti, bone, cardi, heart, rhino, nose. Combining vowels make it possible to pronounce long terms. Combining vowels combine two word parts, such as between two word roots or between a word root and a suffix. The vowel that is usually used is an O. Just like any language, there are rules regarding the use of vowels. The rule we see in this slide deals with the use of the combining vowel between a word root and a suffix. If the suffix begins with a vowel, we do not use a combining vowel. For example, in the word arthritis, arthra means joint and itis means inflammation. Typically, to combine the two, we would use the combining vowel O, 
But because the suffix itis begins with a vowel, we would not use the o. We would just connect the two words together to form the word arthritis. If the suffix begins with a consonant, we would use the combining vowel, and we would typically use the combining vowel o. For example, in the word arthroscope, arth means joint, scope means examine. Since the suffix begins with a consonant, we would add the combining vowel to connect the two parts together to come up with arthroscope. This next rule deals with using a combining vowel between two word roots. We typically will use the combining vowel between two root words even if the second word root begins with a vowel. The example used is gastroenteritis. The first word, G-A-S-T-R, means stomach. The second root word is enter, which means pertaining to the intestine. The last part of the word is itis, which means inflammation. When we typically write word roots, we will include the combining vowel. The format that is used is the word root followed by a slash and then the combining vowel. Three examples are provided to illustrate this. Cardio, hepato, gastro. Examples of word roots and their combining vowel are illustrated here. Arthro, joint. Cardio, heart. Dermato, skin. Entero, small intestine. Gastro, stomach. Hemato, blood. Nephro, kidney. Neuro, nerve. Oto, ear. Pulmono, lung. Rhino, nose. Uro, urine urinary system. This concludes Lecture A of Understanding Medical Words. In summary, we covered some general concepts regarding medical terminology, focusing primarily on word roots and combining vowels.